coming up later in this video. Only Smurf Marines are really going to cut it in this world. <laughs> what am I talking about? You know, I'm going to get comments from all the Marines going, Oi mate, I am a Smurf Marine and I didn't appreciate one thing you said last episode. But first... Hello everyone, Katobi here. Thank you very much for joining me for today's painting. Nearly said photo. Don't know why. Take a photo. Screenshot it. I hope you're doing well. Today we're doing another Dutch pour and things are going spiffingly. I, I'm learning a lot as we go along. Last week's was amazing. I can't believe how the yellow came out um, as a base. That was awesome. That was heaps different. Um, I'm thinking of experimenting with having a textured background in the future, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But today we've got a white base. I've already laid the base down, blend it out in the head with the hairdryer. If you watch till the end of the video, you can actually see me do the blowout. Uh, because I have a time-lapse camera. Hi, time-lapse camera, and uh, people in the future watching me from the past. Okay, so yeah, you can watch um, how I lay it out if, if you're ever intrigued on how I actually do that. I already painted up the sides of the canvas before I get started with the colour that the base will be, so I've got a nice coverage there. Not only do we have our white base mixed with our pouring medium, we have deep blue, which I believe has, yeah, it has um, some mica powders. It's got mica 19, and then mica 29 to 32. So all the numbers between 29 and 32, inclusive of 29 32. We have um, ultramarine blue. We have, what's this, light purple, lovely. And we have silver again. All right, so let's get to pouring today's beautiful composition. I think I'm gonna start with the light purple. Uh, just make sure I've got this good. And I'm gonna do something like that, but not as much, oh, there. there we go. A little bit of sparkle to the painting. We're just gonna go straight through with this one, but then I'm gonna do double swipe with that one. The Ultramarine. You know, how bad would you feel if you're not an Ultramarine? I mean, really. How bad would you feel if you were an Ultramarine and forgot that you're meant to be? A very, you know, strong blue. Terrible days. Terrible days to be a marine of any other. Only Smurf marines are really going to cut it in this world. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway, next part is the silver. You know, I'm going to get comments from all the marines going, Oi mate, I am a Smurf marine and I didn't appreciate one thing you said last episode. How dare you? Also, once a Smurf Marine, always a Smurf Marine. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do one blow this way, so off, and then the rest of the blowing is gonna be out. So I'm gonna do the blow outwards first. Just want to soften this up a little bit if I can. Beautiful, I did it. Wicked. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. <gasps> Lacing. How did that happen? Is the silver doing that? <gasps> awesome, do you want to come a look? Okay, come have a look. We'll start on this side. Normally we start from the other side. Oh, how good is that? I'm going to learn about my Dutch pouring hair dryer technique more, or the most, once I start editing these videos. So Katobi in the future will learn a lot about what he's doing right and wrong. Oh, it's pretty though. All right, put you back up there. 
I think I just want to get a little bit more. I love it, that is so pretty. I like how it's a burst here and then goes soft. So what I noticed is um, something that happened whilst I was blowing this. I don't know if you noticed it yourself. When I blew back, there was just paint, it was awesome. All the white got blown over, but there was a part here and a part here where I ended up blowing um, deep and I caught the base paint and I've blown it into the mix. So it's made it really soft. Nice. There is a, a Dutch pour technique you might have seen me do where you do the line and then you flood over the line and then you blow that out and that makes it nice and soft too. It stops these colours from being so dang bold. But um, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. All right, well, keep watching the video and uh, in a moment you'll have Katobi from the future showing you this varnish and uh, in the conversation piece. So thanks for watching this part of the video. Hey, wow, far out, man. It's, it's like you can touch it with your hands. Oh. I can touch it with my hands. These glasses really work, man. Hey, so like I made a painting and dude, it's, it's radical. There's this part over here that's um, got stuff on it. That's really cool. And this other part it looks cool too, man. Okay, thanks for watching soon. We're gonna do like this groovy ride right over the top of the painting. I'm gonna call it something cool like a flyover. All right, Rad, see you later, dude.